Hey there, and welcome to the ongoing series on using the web dropdown control. Now, one of the very cool features about this control is that you can set up paging within the dropdown list. So to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, let's say you have a regular looking dropdown list here, and as you bring it down, you can see that there are pages that you can cycle through in order to go through the, the amount of data that might be in this list. And, and obviously, this is great for some sort of situation where you have a lot of items that you need to put in a dropdown list. So I can page through the one that I want, click on the, the item that's selected, and then use the drop-down list as I would normally. This is very easy to set up, and I'd like to go ahead and show you how to do it. So here we are in Visual Studio 2008. I have a script manager on the page and also a web drop-down control. To kick things off, what I'd like to do is go ahead and set up a data source. Now we need something that can handle server-side paging, so I will use a SQL data source. That should have been DS, but whatever. And we'll go against Northwind. So I have an existing connection string already created for me. Now from the products table, I'd like to take a look at the product ID and the product name. And that will give us the, va the values that we need for our dropdown list. Perfect, okay. Now from there, let's take a look at some of the properties of the web dropdown list. So let's go ahead and enable paging. Set that to true. The drop-down container width, I'd like to make that a little bit wider so as we're looking at um, the items within the list, we have more space to deal with. So instead of zero pixels here, let's go ahead and make it 300 pixels. Now anytime you're working with the drop-down list, you have to fill out the text field and the value field. So in this case, the text field will be product name and the value field will be product ID. Finally, the last thing that we want to set up here is the page size. Let's go ahead and set that to five items so it's a, you know easy number to display upon the screen. So let's go ahead and run this and take a look at what we've got. So there we go. As you can see, I didn't have to write any code. I just bound it up to a SQL data source and I've got something that's very, very easy to work with. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.